Hi guys, my name is Nancy Hornaday. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified whenever new videos come up. Follow me on Instagram at nancy.hornaday, my personal account and my interior design um, account is at neon interiors. This video, I want to, um, I told you before, I did a video about my whole renovation process before and after and I told you I was going to break it down by room so I can walk you through the whole design process. So we're going to start in my master suite uh, and I'm going to walk you through everything I purchased and the thought behind the entire design. So let's go. Before we get started, I want to show you what I'm wearing. Um, so I am wearing a Zara dress. It's old. I don't know if it's available, but if it is, I'll link it. Uh, my store Weissman mules and just some minimal jewelry. And I like to wear things like this at home. Like maybe I'm, you know, today I made meatballs and I'm cooking like a nice uh, dinner for my husband. Um, I wear at leisure a lot, and sometimes I just want to break it up and wear something nicer when he comes home. So that I'm just not looking all bummed out. So um, it's just an idea, even if the this exact dress is not available, it's just an idea to get something that's like comfortable but yet stylish and looks nice just to break up the routine. So let me just show you what it looks like. Well, let's hop right into the video. Alright guys, so for my master bedroom, the inspiration was I wanted to do something that was really relaxing and that it felt uh, spa-like. I'm going to do my bathroom separately to walk you through the whole process. So this will just be my bedroom and my closet. So with that in mind, I went for very muted colors. I love to layer um, cool tones and warm tones because I don't like a lot of color. But I think when you layer cool tones and um warm tones it really gets that same contrast effect and that visual stimulation that you get from color so that's kind of how i make up for that so i i feel like the the grand uh show master here is the anthropology mirror i absolutely love this mirror and i told you before in the renovation and reveal video our uh, master suite became a lot smaller because we shifted everything out to make our um, master bedroom bigger and shift our uh, walk-in closet so this become a lot smaller so this room uh, is facing directly against the uh, sliders and don't judge me it's a mess outside I haven't done landscaping but you see that this kind of we get this beautiful view to our backyard um, but also in the morning when I have this open because it's directly facing the mirror that mirror reflects a lot of light and that is always a good trick to make your room look a lot bigger so I love it it's really nice for when I'm getting ready uh, in the you know like I'm gonna go out or I'm getting ready in the morning it's perfect this is massive it's like seven feet high um, by five feet wide and I absolutely love it it's, it fits that wall perfectly the bed is a king bed from Pottery Barn Teen and a good trick for you guys is when you're shopping um, at a retailers that are a little bit more expensive like Pottery Barn see if they have a teen website because sometimes you find the exact same teen at the teen website for a lot cheaper and that's exactly what happened here I'm pretty sure that they have a bed that is very similar to this one in the regular website and it's almost twice the price um, this one I think it was like $1,400 uh, but I love the channel detail uh, behind it it is not super low profile but it's also not tall so it allowed me to have beautiful artwork displayed right above it um, i just absolutely love it and that is the bed the nice stands are from ikea um, and i will link them below um, the 
lamps are from Target and the decor under it uh, is from Home Goods. Same as the rug here, which I love it because just like the artwork, which is also from Home Goods, it ties in all the colors, um, soft, um, warm, and cool tones, and it just makes everything very cohesive. So, see down here, I just have something for symmetry. I have like a um, coffee table type book and some tissues with a tissue cover it makes it look a lot more high-end guys when you put a um a cover over your tissues these are just regular kleenex in here i'll show you um, so this is just a regular kleenex box and i just got this cover from amazon it was like 11 bucks i'll try to link it below but it makes it look a lot more high-end just a lot nicer the plan um, is also from the studio McGee collection at Target um, the curtains are this linen like curtains it's not actual linen but it looks like linen um, they are from home goods the bedding is Casa Luna which I absolutely love from Target um, same as this big pillows right here and this lombard pillow and even this smaller one everything literally my entire bedding is from the casa luna line at target it's so luxe and cozy now my dresser uh, and forget the mess inside that little uh, basket there that basket is not my dirty clothes basket because I don't like I learned from my experience that if you have dirty clothes in your bedroom it could make the room funky and untidy um, so I did that basket because my husband always wears stuff that he like rewears and then he ends up like throwing it in the bed or like right here um, by the way this little this little stools are also from the studio maggie line i target i absolutely love them um, but I do not run the risk of him having like clothes all over the floor or the bed I put this here so this are for clothes that are worn but not dirty um and i also sometimes put in like computer and like filming equipment and just random miscellaneous stuff there um in that basket just to make it a little tidier and you can still kind of see it through the top but it's a lot better than having it you know in the floor or draped in the bed because the room is a lot smaller now um so yeah the dresser is from bark decor um and i absolutely love this dresser it was a little bit pricier um it was like fifteen hundred dollar dresser but i absolutely love it it's so sturdy it's like solid wood frame and then also the handles are wrapped in actual leather um and i love that masculine kind of detail this tray which also is a little bit masculine it's like a catch-all tray i also found from home goods for like forty dollars and i like it because you know i keep a candle here um this little um, jewelry box for my husband to put his jewel his everyday jewelry and myself too um this iron decor thing is just to mirror that black base which i always also have from gum home goods um but it just you know even though we put a lot of junk in here it keeps it tidy and contained versus like having it all spread throughout the countertop and even though here it looks untidy like when you look at it from afar it just makes it look a lot tidier than again if you had it all over the dresser or all over the top of the um the nightstand so i absolutely love it so i have a lot of like black and gold accents throughout so i like those little details like that um so again this space was from home goods and the florals here this little flowers which i absolutely love they're fall but i kind of leave just because i really like them and they look so realistic um this ones are from michael and this um leaves 
they from my, yeah they're from michael's as well i got it on the fall sale they were like 40 percent off so absolutely love it so again because i'm tight for space and the, my purses i i had to pick between having my purses or my shoes on display in my um walk-in closet because uh, uh i do have a problem i have a lot of handbags and a lot of shoes um so my handbags i purchased this little stands from ikea one my husband had before we even met with like some football stuff he played football at michigan so he had it with some football paraphernalia that ended up in his office so i grabbed it from him and i was lucky enough like years later like a decade later to find the exact same stand at ikea um i found it I'm in Boca Raton, I found it in like Tampa and my aunt had to pick it up and then drive it down. It's a whole ordeal, but I'm so glad because it keeps all my handbags organized um, and looking tidy in here. And then it's also glass so I can, you know, when I get dressed quickly see what kind of goes with my outfit and I can wear it that way. So I absolutely love the way um, my bedroom came out like and it's just so serene the fan is from wayfair um and i really try to convince my husband like in the living room to get a chandelier but we live in florida he gets overheated at night so that was uh, a deal breaker from him he was not compromising he absolutely wanted a fan so the best i could do was trying to get something white that blended in with the ceiling and was super inoffensive because he was like we're not getting a chandelier in there like i need my fan you know what i respect that because I, I get hot sometimes too when we sleep and um you need a fan in florida to sleep with even though we have you know central air conditioning but it is a must so no chandelier but at least i try to get something that was a little bit more modern and minimal so it's just inoffensive and blends in um i don't want to make a statement with a fan i don't think ceiling fans can make a statement so it's better to have them look nice and innocuous so now you can see from a different angle what my room looks like absolutely absolutely love it um and then my closet oops i'm gonna move some of this junk that i had here workout clothes for later um so again we shifted this and i ended up building one um we did it did a smaller closet across for my husband he has fewer clothes than me so he worked out um yeah, let's take a peek hopefully it's not too messy as you can see he can keep everything there right across and then i took the walk-in closet across um this bin chair which really acts as a step stool for me to get on top uh, where it's higher because you can see i can only this is how high i can reach so that helps me reach if i need to get something higher um but also i can just kind of sit in there and spin and kind of look and evaluate what i want to wear so i organize all my shoes in here um all my heels uh, and then my boots i and then here i put my all my jewelry and i've got this little jewelry organizers from home goods and then all my sunglasses and then i have my necklaces here um my perfumes and my makeup and then, then i got this so i can actually do my makeup in here hello um then my jeans organized by color my knits um and then long skirts trousers and dressers shorter dresses and skirts um blazers and then just shorts short skirts uh, and also t-shirts blouses tops and more like wintry type tops and coats i don't need a lot of that because again i live in florida um and if you're wondering what this is this goes up to my attic so that's why this annoying string is hanging there so yeah I have my hats up there um we'll do my master bathroom 
another time because there's a lot of organization tips and things I want to go over. So we keep this one short and sweet. I just wanted to walk you guys through the design process. You see, um, I just wanted a very relaxing, uh, cool and warm vibe. And I absolutely love the way it came out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next